Did you communicate to the Secretary of State as provided by Rule 23 of the Rules of Procedure and Practice in the Senate when sitting on impeachment trials, and also to the House of Representatives, the judgment of the Senate in the case of Donald John Trump, and transmit a certified copy of the judgment to each. Without objection, the order will be entered. As Chief Justice. The Majority Leader is recognized. Before this uh, process fully concludes, I want to very quickly acknowledge a few of the people who helped the Senate fulfill our duty these past weeks. First and foremost, I know my colleague joined me in thanking Chief Justice Roberts for presiding over the Senate trial with a clear head, steady hand, and the forbearance that this rare occasion demands. as our presiding officer uh, came in addition to, not instead of, his day job across the street. Yes, sir. So the Senate thanks the Chief Justice and his staff who helped him perform this yes, unique role. Like his predecessor, Chief Justice Rehnquist, the Senate will be awarding Chief Justice Roberts the golden gavel. To commemorate his time presiding over this body, we typically award this to new senators after about 100 hours in the chair, but I think we can agree that Chief Justice has put in his due and then some. <laughs> Page is delivering the go. Thank you very much. Of course, there are countless Senate professionals whose efforts were essential. I'll have more thorough thanks to offer next week to all of those teams, from the Secretary of the Senate's office to the parliamentarians, to the Sergeant at Arms team, and beyond. But there are two more groups I'd like to single out now. First, the two different classes of Senate pages who participated in this trial, their footwork and cool under pressure literally kept the floor running. Our current class came on board right in the middle of the third presidential impeachment trial in American history and quickly found themselves hand-delivering 180 question cards from Senator's desk to the dais. No pressure, right, guys? So thank you all very much for your good work. Second, the fine men and women of the Capitol Police, we know that the safety of our democracy literally rests in their hands every single day, but the heightened measures surrounding the trial meant even more hours and even more work and even more vigilance. Thank you all very much for your service to this body and to the country. recognizes the Democratic leader. I join the Republican leader in thanking the personnel who aided the Senate over the past several weeks. Capitol Police do an outstanding job day in, day out to protect the members of this chamber, their staffs, the press, and everyone who works in and visits this Capitol. They were asked to work extra shifts and in greater numbers to provide additional security over the past three weeks. Thank you to every one of them. I too would like to thank those wonderful pages. I so much enjoyed you with your serious faces walking down right here and giving the Chief Justice our questions. As the leader noted, the new class of pages started midway in this impeachment trial. When you take a new job, you're usually given a few days to take stock of things, get up to speed. This class was given no such leeway, but they stepped right in, didn't miss a beat ferrying hundreds of questions from U.S. Senators to the Chief Justice on national television is not how most of us spend our first week at work, but they did it with a plum. I'd also like to extend my personal thank you to David Houck, the Director of the Office of Accessibility Services, Tyler Pumphrey, the Supervisor, and Grace Ridgeway, the wonderful Director of Capital Facilities. Everyone graces, everyone graces team on Grace's team worked so hard to make sure we were ready for impeachment. Gary Richardson, known affectionately to us as Tiny, the chief chamber attendant. Jim Hoover, 
and the cap and the cabinet shop who built new cabinets to deprive us of the use of our electronics and flip phones during the trial. Brenda Bird. One. Brenda Bird and her team did a spectacular job of keeping the Capitol clean, and Leiden Webb and his team will move the furniture and then moved it again and again and again. Grace, we appreciate all your hard work. Please convey our sincerest thanks to your staff. Thank you all, the whole staff, for your diligent work through many long days and late nights during this very trying time in our nation's history. Mr. Chief Justice. And the chair also wishes to make a very brief statement. I would like to begin by thanking the majority leader and the Democratic leader for their support as I attempted to carry out ill-defined responsibilities in an unfamiliar setting. They ensured that I had the wise counsel of the Senate itself through its secretary and her legislative staff. I am especially grateful to the parliamentarian and her deputy for their unfailing patience and keen insight. I am likewise grateful to the sergeant at arms and his staff for the assistance and many courtesies that they extended during my period of required residency. And thank you all for making my presence here as comfortable as possible. As I depart the chamber, I do so with an invitation to visit the court. By long tradition and in memory of the 135 years we sat in this building, mm -hmm. we keep the front row of the gallery in our courtroom yeah. open for members of Congress who might want to drop by to see an argument or to escape one. I also depart with sincere good wishes as we carry out our common commitment to the Constitution through the distinct roles assigned to us by that charter. You have been generous hosts, and I look forward to seeing you again under happier circumstances. The chair recognizes the majority leader. I move that the Senate sitting as a court of impeachment on the articles against Donald John Trump adjourn, signed die. Without objection, the motion is agreed to. The Senate sitting as a court of impeachment stands adjourned, signed die. And with that...